Assalomu alaykum hurmatli talabalar. Bugun sizlar bilan O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti Xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi o'qituvchisi Abdurahim va Noila Abdulhalilovna. Amaling grammatika fanidan shu mavzudagi amaliy mashg'ulotimizni boshlayman. Keling, ma'ruzamni ingliz tilida olib borsam. Welcome to the lecture lesson. The same is about future perfect tense. Outline. What is it future perfect simple? When do we use future perfect? How to form future perfect and key words for future perfect. Introduction. The future perfect tense is quite an easy tense to understand and use. The future perfect talks about the past in the future. It expresses the idea that something will occur before another action in the future. It can also show that something will happen before a specific time in the future. Uh, we use the future perfect tense for an action which will finish it before a stated future time. For example, he will have delivered all the newspapers by 8 o'clock. The time expressions before, till, until, by the time, by, by then. Remember, till and until are mostly used in the negative sentence. For example, she will have finished the report by tomorrow. She won't have completed the report till or until 6 o'clock. Future perfect tense is used to denote an action which will begin before a definite moment in the future will continue up to that moment in the future and will be going on at that moment. For example, Loda will have been a teacher for 20 years by next May. How do we make the future perfect tense, the structure of future perfect? Subject plus auxiliary verb plus auxiliary verb then main verb, post participle. The first auxiliary verb is in verbal will. The second auxiliary verb is in verbal in the base form have. The main verb is in verbal in post participle form it or irregular verb. For a negative sentence, we insert not after the first auxiliary verb. For a question sentence, we exchange the subject and the first auxiliary verb. Here is some more example for a positive sentence. By 6 p.m. tonight. I will have finished this book by 6 p.m. tonight. You will have studied the English tenses by 6 p.m. tonight. She will have cooked dinner by 6 p.m. tonight. Samples for a negative. By next week. I will not have finished this book. You will not have studied the English tenses. She will not have cooked dinner. He will not have married or we will not have met Julia by next week. To make the questions, yes or no questions. Will I have finished writing this book? Will you have studied all the English verb tenses? Will she have graduated? Or will he uh, have got married? The examples to make WH questions. Uh, when will I have finished writing this book? Why will you have studied all the English verb tenses by tomorrow? When will she have been here three weeks? Why will it have got colder by me? Future achievements. First achievement. Something that has been accomplished or by hard work, ability or heroism. The second. Successful completion accomplishment. Imagine this time, next week, next month, next year. What will you have done or finish it, completed it? Or achieve it. Here is some more example. First, this time next month he will have bought a new car. This time next year they will have finished the house. This time next month I will have been to the gym. Our first theme has finished. Let's talk about our second theme, which is future perfect progressive tense or future perfect continuous tense. Outline. What is it future perfect continuous? When do we use future perfect continuous? How to form future perfect continuous? 
we use a future perfect continuous tense to talk about the long action before some point in the future. First use, duration before something in the future. We use the future perfect continuous to show that something will continue up until a particular event or a time in the future. For example, for five minutes, for two weeks and since Friday are all durations which can be used with the future perfect continuous. Note that there is related to the present perfect continuous and the past perfect continuous. However, with future perfect continuous, the duration stops at or before a reference point in the future. Second, cause of something in the future. Using the future perfect continuous before another action in the future is a good way to show a cause and effect. For example, Jason will be tired when he gets home because he will have been jogging for hour and hour. Claudia's English will be perfect when she returns to Germany because she is going to have been studying English in the United States for over two years. Future perfect continuous adverb placement. The examples below show the placement for grammar adverbs such as always, only, never, ever, still, and just. For example, you will only have been waiting for a few minutes when your plan arrives. Or will you only have been waiting for a few minutes when your plan arrives? Or you are only going to have been waiting for a few minutes when your plan arrives? Or are you only going to have been waiting for a few minutes when your plan arrives? This is a signal word of future perfect continuous, since and for. How do we make the future perfect continuous tense? First, subject. Auxiliary verb will, auxiliary verb have, auxiliary verb be, then main verb. Here is some more example. For example, they will have been talking for hour and hour by the time Tom's arrives. She is going to have been working at that company for three years when it finally closes. James will uh, have been teaching at the university for more than a year by the time he leaves for Asia. How long uh, will you have been studying when you graduate? We are going to have been driving for our three days straight when we get to Anchorage. When you finish your English course, uh, will you have been living in New Zealand for our year? No, I'll not have been living here that longer. Not in the examples above, the reference points marked in italics are in present simple rather than future simple. This is because this uh, future perf uh, perfect events are in the time clothes, and you cannot use future tenses in time clothes. For example, I will have been sleeping for one hour by the time my uncle comes. One hour uh, for one hour is a duration. My uncle comes, this is another event, occurs at the same time as future perfect continuous tense. Remember, no future in the time close. Uh, like all future forms and future perfect continuous cannot be used in clothes beginning with the time expressions such as when, while, before, after, by the time, as soon as, if, unless. And instead of future perfect continuous, you should use present uh, perfect continuous. For example, you won't get the promotion until you will have been working here as long as. This is incorrect. You won't get the promotion until you have been working here as long as team. This is a correct. This is the end of our lecture. Thank you for your attention. Good luck.